It's exceptionally frustrating when guitar amplifiers start making noises we'd rather they didn't. You may have experienced a situation where your usually quietly operating amplifier starts making a loud annoying hum when you plug it into power in certain venues or practice spaces, or even at home when you start connecting different pieces of equipment together, or when someone elsewhere in the house starts switching on lights or other electric devices. That hum is quite often generated by voltage injected into the ground connection of the main supply, which can start pushing currents around the ground connections of different devices plugged into mains power at different places. Ground loops and other ground related issues often manifest themselves as ugly hum in audio devices, like our guitar amplifiers, and it can be perplexing to predict precisely when power will present problematically prior to plugging in. Now a safety warning before we go any further, some people, no doubt folks already down in the comments section of this video will be suggesting that all you need to do is disconnect the ground pin from your mains cable and that'll make all your hum problems go away. Unfortunately that also leaves you vulnerable to electric shock if any fault were to happen inside your amplifier and the chassis became live. Never. Never disconnect your ground connection from your mains cable, it's there to save your life. But if you are experiencing ground hum problems, then there are other safer solutions. I've just received three of these in the post. They are Morley's latest effort to keep our audio devices only making the noises we want them to. They've had a similar product to this out in the US for some time now. The hum exterminator in this wall wart form factor, which frankly gives me the ick. But for the European market where many people are using these, and here in the UK where we're using these, they needed a different approach. And this is what they've come up with. It's called the hum no, because hum, no. That was Henning's contribution to the product. Sometimes companies come to us seeking advice and frankly not all of our suggestions are winners. It's designed to sit in the power line of an audio amplifier that uses an IEC power cable, colloquially known as a kettle lead, which the majority of modern amplifiers now use. And the little box in the middle does the required voltage filtering to eliminate most ground loop style hum problems you are likely to encounter. When I spoke to Morley, they were understandably quite hesitant to hand over the circuit diagram for their brand new product, but the words toroid filtering were used and they were very insistent that this is not a ground lift. The hum no keeps your safety ground intact while using a number of other techniques to filter out the voltages that usually cause problematic hum in audio devices. This is the kind of thing that I would love to have had in my gig bag when I was out playing venues with a band, because in some of those venues, the power just can't be trusted, especially if you're playing places that are like pub bars or sports centres or church halls, places where the mains connection may not have been wired up with an audio application in mind. Multiple interconnected audio devices being powered by different points on the same electrical ring can create ground loops, and you'll often find that the lighting circuit and the main circuit that you want to plug into aren't quite as separate as you'd hope they'd be. Bar style venues can be particularly problematic with neon lights and even their kitchen appliances sharing the same ground as your audio equipment. Now here in my home studio, I'm blessed with very quiet, clean power. My amplifiers usually operate without any ground hum at all. This place is wired up properly, which makes demonstrating the hum though extremely difficult. I simply don't have any hum for this to remove. So I've had to get a little bit inventive and deliberately create a ground loop problem for this to solve using a slightly unusual method, but just know this is far more commonly encountered out in the wild with no such innovation. I've got two amplifiers, the Orange Rocker 15 and the Victory Kraken, both connected to mains power on the same extension strip. So already these two amplifiers are sharing a ground connection, but we haven't yet got a loop. If I decide to connect the orange effects send to the victory effects return in order to use the orange preamp through the victory power amp, then I've created a ground loop with the instrument cable. The orange doesn't even need to be powered on for us to suffer the consequences of this. Just powering up the victory, which is connected to the speaker cab, will reveal the ground loop. That low pitched noise is the dreaded ground hum. We can prove that by disconnecting the power lead from the orange, which breaks the ground loop and the hum disappears.
Since this ground loop has no connection to signal noise or the operating noise floor of a high gain amplifier, a noise gate is completely ineffective at removing it, as is demonstrated here. By turning up the gain of the orange preamp, we hear additional mid-frequency noise added on top of the lower pitched ground hum. The noise gate will be able to cut off that gain noise, but the ground hum remains. Inserting the hum note into the power line for the orange gets rid of the ground hum by filtering out floating voltages that are pushing current around, allowing me to power up the orange and play without any interruption. Now it's worth stating that this is not going to solve every noise or hum related issue you're likely to encounter with guitar or audio devices. Noise and hum can be generated from a number of different sources and this is really only designed to tackle the stuff coming off ground loops or a noisy ground mains connection. This will do absolutely nothing for 50 or 60 hertz single coil hum which is a result of the pickup acting as an antennae, nor will it do anything for the operating noise floor of an amplifier or pedal. That's all just gain heads. But there are other solutions for those problems. If, like me, you live in a house with good electrical wiring and you aren't connecting together a bunch of different audio devices, then it's unlikely you'll ever encounter ground loops as much of an issue. But these are absolutely the kind of thing you'll want to have in your toolkit as a gigging musician, going out to different venues with questionable electrical competence, or as a sound engineer to solve problems as they arise in the studio as you're plugging different things together. You'll find links to these in the description should you want to buy a couple of these for yourself. This could well be a have the solution before you encounter the problem kind of deal. You can also click all the buttons you're supposed to to make this video viable to the ever-changing whims of the YouTube algorithm. That's all for now. Keep it loud and stay safe.